Welcome back to another amazing video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to play any type of music or sound through your microphone. Or basically, how to play any song or sound through your headset. Or maybe, basically, how to play any sound or song through voice mod by using a third party program called Virtual DJ. Now in order for this to work, you would have to go ahead and look at the other video to set your voice mod as your default microphone, but I can show you here as it's really simple to do. So you go ahead and set your microphone in the input device in voice mod and then your output as the headset that you have or that you're using or the speakers. Now you would do the same on Windows just by going to the sound setting and your headphones as the default for playback and the microphone for voice mod. Now once that's been done, you will go ahead and open up your virtual DJ program. Now once this has been opened up, you can go ahead and click the gear in the upper right and you select audio. Once you've selected audio, your output you want to do is speaker plus headphones. And the card is two sound cards with no input. So as your master, you want to have it set to your voice mod virtual audio device WDM with WAS API. You want to make sure this is set to 44 100 kilohertz or hertz with 32 bit float two channels at 970 samples for channel 1 and 2. As for headphones, as for the second output you will make sure it's set to your headphones, which is my Razer Nari Ultimate game, WASAPI, and at channel 1 and 2. Now, since mine is set at 48,000 kilohertz instead of 44 kilohertz, um, the voice mod does not support 48,000 kilohertz just yet, so I have it set to 44,000. So the 48 and the 44 doesn't matter for your headset, but it, 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 all, it does all together. I would recommend 48,000 as that's the clearest type of audio you could get in your software or your hardware settings. And as for the microphone, I wish it could become 48,000 so it sounds even more clear than that, but this is just as good basically. So once that's all set up here, you can go ahead and select apply and now you can begin playing whatever you want. However, before you do that, you do have to set the gain all the way down to about negative um, 20 decibels about negative 20 or negative uh, depending on the song you would have to set the gain of that specific song instead of it being in the middle on normal you would have to set it all the way to either negative 15 16 or maybe 23 or 24 depending on what it is because even though this song is playing very low for you, as you can barely hear it. Well, as for me, I could barely hear that. Um, so with that being said, for me being, being able to barely hear that, uh, whoever's in my Discord or whoever's on the channel that I'm talking to on Xbox, it'll be too loud for them to hear what's going on. And I'd have to set a specific value to it so that way it's not super dramatic for them or overwhelming for them. So that's one of the only flaws for this, but you can play basically any type of song or video that you have on hand on your computer. So with that being said, having voice mod open and virtual DJ open, you could pretty much play whatever song you want or mix if you want privately to your friends or family, whoever you're talking to on Discord, Facebook, or Xbox app, or however. As you basically have unlimited access to your local storage selection with Virtual DJ. Now, I'm pretty sure you could do the same with Serato and or FL Studio and some other programs, but for this one, it's... For, but for this tutorial, I found the best working method was Virtual DJ if I wanted to show off some new songs and or some beats to my friends on Discord. 
but yeah. So if anything guys, that's all that I have for you today and I hope to uh, see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like or subscribe if this tutorial has helped you out and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, why not check out one of these other videos? I think you might enjoy them. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye everybody.